I've known Longleat since I was a nipper. Growing up in the southwest of England, it was right on the top of my must-visit places as a kid, and it fueled and helped to fuel my passion for the natural world. Since those days, I've been lucky enough to travel the world and see many of the creatures that you can see in Longleat in the wild. But that, nonetheless, changes nothing of the value that I place on Longleat and what it did for me, and indeed I hope for many generations since and to this day, to pour paraffin on the fire of enthusiasm for the natural world. Back then I can remember many visits with my family, and one notably, it was at a time when we were still allowed out into the area where giraffe were grazing and moving freely. And I can remember standing underneath a giraffe as its head came down towards me. And then at the time, the keepers had megaphones to speak to the public. And I just heard somebody saying, get back in your car at high volume. And that, up until that point, I wasn't in the least bit afraid. But when the megaphone went off, I thought, oh, I'm going to be eaten by a giraffe. Mm. So I just remember the open window of the car and diving in as a kid. <laughs> I just dived in and ended up on the back seat, probably on my sister's lap. But of course, um, there was no real threat involved. Uh, I've had many wonderful experiences and indeed working with the animals as I have over the past few months, some of the close encounters I've had with, uh, with the tigers, uh, with the lions, with the wolves, and indeed just about all of the creatures have been memories to cherish.